good morning everybody and welcome to my back porch again. Renee here and you know I just wanted to talk to you a little bit about some of the events of this past week. Uh, I don't know about you but this week my heart has felt so heavy and I mean literally heavy. It's been such a strange sensation. Uh, it's been heavy within me and I find myself praying over and over that God would give us two things, two words. And I want to share those two words with you and ask you to pray for those with me. The first word is unity, that God would give us unity as a body of Christ, the church, and as a nation. I don't know if you heard the words of Tony Dungy. He's an outspoken believer in Jesus and a Super Bowl champion coach and an African-American man. And this past week he said, quote, today we are a divided country. We're divided racially, politically, socioeconomically, and Satan is laughing at us because that is exactly what he wants. Dysfunction, mistrust, and hatred help his kingdom flourish. Well, what's the answer then? I believe it has to start with those of us who claim to be Christians. We have to come to the forefront and demonstrate the qualities of the one we claim to follow, Jesus Christ. We have to be willing to speak the truth in love, but we have to recognize that we're not fighting against other people. We're fighting against Satan and his kingdom of spiritual darkness. Do not be overcome by evil, but overcome evil with good. Man, that is so good. So, yes, I pray for unity, and I pray against the things that are dividing us as people, but I don't just pray for unity, I also pray for empathy, because sometimes prayers for unity can come across like, let's not talk about uncomfortable realities, let's just all get along. No, I pray for empathy. And empathy means I don't shut other people up. When, like the saints in Revelation chapter 6, they are crying out, how long, O Lord, until the injustice against us is made right. No, I listen, and I seek to understand, and I sympathize. Let me leave you with a Bible verse. 1 Peter 3.8 says, finally, all of you should be of one mind. There's unity. Sympathize with each other. There's empathy. Love each other as brothers and sisters. Be tender-hearted and keep a humble attitude. Man, would you join me in making 1 Peter 3.8 and unity and empathy your two prayer words this week? I think if we do, and we, we do the things that Tony Dungy said in that quote, then we are going to be better people and we are going to have a better week. God bless.